Today's tutorial will show you how to control a ProNet SDIN drive via analog inputs with the Kinko HMI and Kinko PLC. Here's our high level diagram for our tutorial. We have a Kinko HMI communicating via two wire RS45 at 38,400 bits per second with a Kinko PLC. The Kinko PLC is using its digital and analog inputs to run the servo motor at various speeds. Wire the Esten servo drive so that the digital input common receives 24 volts from the sensor output supply of the PLC. The servo input and the PLC outputs are sourcing so we have to use an intermediate relay to send a ground signal to S-ON. For the servo to run in any type of mode, the S-ON input must be activated. The analog outputs of the PLC are V0 and M0, which connect directly to VREF plus and VREF minus, respectively. In order to operate the servo motor in analog mode, we must set the speed reference offset in FN003, set the control register PN005 to 0, as well as the speed reference input gain register PN300. Currently, it is set to 300 RPM per volt. Once all these are done, we can begin varying the input voltage on VREF Plus and see the motor run at various speeds. The PLC analog output converts digital value to a voltage or current, in this case a voltage. The digital value is equal to desired voltage times 1000. Now that we have an overall understanding of the system, let's begin coding. I've gone ahead and already created the program which I called servo control. Um, through that process I selected the K506EA-30AT because it has both digital I.O. and analog I.O. Once we've, once we've selected our hardware unit we can go ahead and configure its parameters. So first let's begin with setting the baud rate for our communication to begin with with computer and PLC to get this program on there. Secondly, we have to configure the communication port that the HMI and PLC are talking on. So like I said, it's two wire RS45 at 38,400 using port 2. Uh, lastly, we have to configure the analog output port. So we'll be using channel 0 um, and we'll, we'll select it to be 0 to 10 volts. Um, once we've done those two, we can go ahead and click save. Um, go ahead and go to our communications, make sure that we're on the right port, COM2, perfect. Let's test it, let's press start, Complete, com, uh, completed successfully, perfect. Then we go ahead and click PLC download. But first, let me just make a note that there is no ladder logic program or structured text program because the HMI will be directly controlling the PLC's output, so there's no need for that in this case. Alright, so let's go ahead and click PLC, download, download, yes, place me in stop mode. Okay. So now the, the parameters are all set inside of the PLC. No, pro, no ladder logic program, remember. So let's go ahead and switch gears and go to the HMI editing software, which is Kinko HMIware. Uh, once again, I've already created this program. Just much easier to explain this way. So let's go ahead and explain some of the some of the stuff we have going on here in the GUI. So these are all just labels. Right here we have a numeric input which is already set in the servo. Um, that numeric input is the speed reference input gain. So this is just used to get a multiplication factor. Um, but it, again, it's already set in the servo unit, but we do have to set it in the HMI so that um, we are getting the correct RPM output. This is going to be our desired servo speed. Um, this will be our DAC resolution, which has a lot to do with the speed reference input gain and the PLC um, analog output analog output digital value. The 1,000 um, the 1,000 per one volt value that I mentioned earlier, and this is uh, our digital out or analog output register AQW0. 
So this is where we write that final value. Once we do that, our motor should begin running or change change its speed. And this is a uh, our S on off toggle button. So for instance, right here, we click on that, and like I mentioned in uh, the the PLC editing software, that we are directly controlling the outputs and registers. So here Q is an output for the Kinko PLC. So we go ahead and go to the bit state switch setting and it's toggle type. Okay. And then uh, the servo speed here it's a local word register of 100. So this is just stays here. But what this does when uh, after we're done entering the speed that we would like we go ahead and trigger LB10 and I've gone ahead and used the PLC function or PLC control function to make LB10 as a trigger to execute a macro program speed conversion dot C so let's go ahead and open that up and see what that does So again, every time we press enter to finish entering our speed value, this script will run, or sorry, macro. So I've gone ahead and set the DAC volt resolution to 1000. And then I go ahead and divide that by the speed reference input gain, which is inputted by the user. So remember, uh, that's already set in the servo drive, so basically we're just copying it over. So this is going to be 300 you can almost hard code it but um, if that ever changes you should change it as well and that's equal to DAC res next we have RPM times DAC res so that DAC resolution is kind of just like a multi it's just a multiplier which is going to give us our DAC value which is that final digital value that we want to write to AQW0 so now you'll see that these variables have registers assigned to them so the final output is going to be AQW0 the rest of these are just local bits and local words that live on the HMI and don't get transferred the only thing that gets transferred to the PLC is this final DAC value right here so let's go ahead and test it out so let's go ahead and uh, click tools compile tools download download to our HMI Okay, so now let's go ahead and do an offline simulation so that you can see exactly what I'm seeing. So go to offline simulation, simulate, um, set the speed reference input gain to 300, which is what's inside of the servo drive. We see we get a DAC res of 3.3. So basically what happens, any speed that we put in, we input in here, it's going to be multiplied by 3.3 and it's going to be our final result, AQW0. Let's go ahead and run it at max speed, 3000, which is 300 times 10, because 10 volts is the max input that the Eston drive can receive. Let's go ahead and 3000, enter, 9999, and let's turn the servo on. Perfect, now we're running at 3000 RPM, and if we were to change this to 1000 RPM, you would see this value change and our motor is now running at 1000 RPM. If we wanted to get come to a complete halt, all we do is go here, zero, enter, or we just turn the servo drive off. Either or, we'll bring it to a complete halt. Please stay tuned in for the follow-up video, which will demonstrate how to program the Eston parameters on the servo drive, as well as demonstrate the system as a whole. If you have any further questions, please visit www.anaheimautomation.com.